Exotic Animal Radiography Review, Final Exam, and vt &E. So radi radiographs of our exotic species, these are typically going to be done tabletop positioning if you have the option between the tabletop and the bucky tray. Our animals are usually pretty small. High speed film, if we are using film, and usually 1 60th of a second is recommended. So very fast radiographs are done here. Anticipated movement. These guys move faster than we ever expect. Radiolucent tubes can be done. Many of our avian views are just a single lateral or a whole body. Snake and reptile views are often going to be a DV positioning and turtles and tortoises should be two views, lateral and um, like a, a dorsal ventral typically. Means of restraint, we're gonna commonly do chemical restraint. Better living through pharmacology. Use drugs when the animal will tolerate it. Um, to keep them safe. And then manual restraint using our gloves, our hands. Now keep in mind, we should never use manual restraint with our hands inside there like this image right here. Not a good idea to uh, use the hands. We can use drugs. We can use, um, we can use other means like gauze or tape in order to keep ourselves safe. And then physical restraint using tape or sandbags is of course most ideal. At the very least, collimate, collimate, collimate. These hands do not need to be here in these images. We're going to take a better image by using some brief sedation. Um, and it takes away some of the stress on that animal as well. Avian radiography, we want to be placing our tape across the neck. Keep in mind, they have complete tracheal rings. So we do not want to grasp them around the neck. We do not want to place the tape too tight. Sedation is going to be the best possible thing for our birds as it will help to reduce stress. They wake up and they don't have that stress there. So across the head, across the wings, and across the feet is our best locations for the tape. And again, using sedation will be best. We could also do a lateral where we have one wing going forward, one wing going back, and then the legs in scissor or running position. All right, good luck. And here is an image, one is an alligator foot on the right and the lucky rabbit's foot on the left. Whichever one you choose for good luck, hopefully uh, you have a good VTNE or final exam.